Hi, Robin with OxyDry, and uh, today um, is my day off, and I am back in my own house dealing with another urine stain in my carpet because um, we have two new puppies. Um, the 16-month-old uh, did the stain. I showed the video right where my finger is pointing right now. There's still a very slight uh, discoloration there. I only use CLO2 on it. I did a video couple of videos where I showed myself addressing that um, and then uh, we've had another three uh, urine, urine stains from the five month old um, right there over the last few days I think the last one was uh, the day before yesterday was when he did it last um, and I we blotted them up the stain just blotted it up with paper towel and then I just treated it with CLA 2 2000 PPM and um, so now I'm actually going to clean the carpet um, I hadn't cleaned the car this one here before in the last video where I showed dealing with this stain here I just used the CLO2 but now I'm actually going to clean the carpet so I've only used CLO2 on the on the carpet I have not used any proxy I have some which I'll show you sitting right here Normally when I'm in a home, I will, and I know there's a urine stain to deal with, I will treat it with the, with the CLO2 first, and then typically I will uh, apply the proxy, um, because the CLO2 doesn't always get the discoloration out 100%, but it's more effective on the odor, um, and the proxy you will almost always get the discoloration out completely, but isn't always as effective on the odor. So I use the two in combination normally. So we'll see what happens here. Um, we'll, I'll just try it with the seal it first, going, and then I'll go over with the machine here, and then we'll see what happens. Um, I did stick my. We I have treated that already a couple times, as I mentioned. But um, if I stick my nose in there, I can still smell it a little bit. So the urine is still not completely broken down yet. But we'll go over it with the machine. And then I'll be treating, and we'll, we'll be testing the what I smell. I'm also going to be dealing with the uh, the living room carpet because <clears throat> we got a urine stain here, another one um, around there, another one over here, and one over there. So and that's a pretty big one. So and it was quite discolored. Um, we did treat it with the with the uh, CLO2, but we actually missed this portion right here. So I just treated it again, and then I'll be cleaning that, and we'll see what happens with that. So, this carpet is about 10 years old. And there's Billy. Hi, Billy. And I don't know where your little brother is, but anyway, Billy's been a good boy. He only did it once, and then he's learned his lesson. But the other guy, well, we're having <laughs> a challenge with him. So, we'll work on it. Alrighty, let's uh, see what happens. Got a little bit of a bounce because of the fiber pad being a little bit um, flattened on one side. It actually just came out of the out of the wash. So there's the um, the first stain is right there, and as I go over it with the fiber pad, typically what I'll see is it'll just take it right out of there, which it just did. But it was treated with the CLO2 and has already broken down the urine down very effectively. So there's the other stain right here, just to the left of the machine. And it's gone. So when you treat it, uh, you're in stain with the CLO2. Um, what'll happen, of course, is if you get enough CLO2 on there, it will destroy the urine at the molecular level. But um, when it gets the uh, when it wash, the urine gets down to the backing, or depending how much 
was originally deposited there, it'll get into the vacuum. But then as you, if you blot it up and then treat it with the CLO2, as it dries, it will wick back up to the surface and then deposit on the surface of the yarn. So um, I'm expecting, and I'm going to check it in a sec here, what will probably occur is, I bet I won't smell anything when I put my nose on there now, even though I did a minute ago when I had my nose on there. But I think I just removed the urine deposit that had wicked up to the surface. I'm going to check that in a sec. spun out of and under the floor there. There we go. Okay. Billy's watching. And we'll put an Iron Man pad on there. Just put a little bit more moisture down. I can feel the binding already. So I just added some solution. And over the years, you know, because we've I'll show you a picture of our oh actually there's the picture of our three dogs we had for 15 years. Right there. There they are. And over the years, um, this carpet has had many up trucks and you know, accidents and peas. The, the little black dog there, the one just to the left there, she had diabetes and um, she would often leak onto the carpet. She lay down and have a sleep on the carpet, but she would often leak. So this carpet has had many, many urine stains on it and there are no visible stains on this carpet at all. And that's the simplicity of this system and the effectiveness. So this is an awful carpet. Looking good, Billy? That's Billy the Kid. So, uh, the stain here is gone. I have not put any peroxide on the carpet at all. And I don't think I'm going to need to. This is just dealt with just using the CLO2. So, let's put my nose in it. I can smell absolutely nothing. So, that tells me that the urine is, is dealt with because um, the way the CLO2 works is it actually breaks down the urine at the molecular level and when the smell is gone the bacteria is also destroyed because the bacteria is what gives off the odor and um, so it's gone and the stain is gone so we'll go into the living room and we'll deal with this area over here So, um, how to show you, there's our uh, picture of all, all the dogs we had, and uh, this one right here, 
we, uh, after this, the black one had passed away, uh, we rescued this little doggy when we got her. And uh, actually, I'll show you another picture of her. She's right over here. This little doggy, um, she was uh, 15 years old, and we got her home, and uh, the lady had gave her to us. Said she was fine, but we got her home and realized she wasn't fine. She was actually dying of kidney disease, 10% function left. And uh, so uh, the vet said she had two months to live, but we were able to help her out with a very specialized diet and, and things we did for her. We even gave her subcutaneous uh, a fluid um, to uh, help flush out her kidneys. And she was able, she lived for seven months and she had a wonderful last seven months of her life and really enjoyed her life. And uh, got her out and sh showed her how to walk because the little dog had clearly never been on walks before. She had uh, her uh, pads on her feet were soft as butter. The dog had never walked outside. She couldn't, even, she couldn't walk on a gravel pathway. Her feet were just so tender. But they got toughened up, and and we took her along with the other two doggies to the beach. And it was in the fall, I guess late summer when we got her, and um, we gave her an enjoyable life. But she had lots of accents on the carpet as well. But again, you can see this carpet here, which is a frise carpet, uh, is in great shape. This carpet's about 10 years old. It's only ever been cleaned with OxyDry. There is no buildup of soil. There is no staining. There's no traffic lanes. Even in front of the couch there, you can see it just looks great. And um, very easy carpet to clean. I wasn't sure just, you know, when I chose this carpet for the house, I was, wasn't sure how well it would stand up, you know, being a long, literally a longer yarn. But um, I thought, you know, I'm gonna give it a try. See how well it does. And um, actually, I remember one of the reasons I chose it is because I'd already been hearing people say how oh, the frise carpets weren't great carpets, they didn't stand up, etc., etc. But I thought, oh, I'm gonna put a frise carpet in my living room and we're gonna see if this is true. This is a continuous filament, it is a nylon. Um, so it's a good quality carpet. And right here in front of the couch, you can see there isn't, there, I mean, there's a little bit of extra wear here, but you know, really, there's very little wear on the carpet. And every day, virtually every day, over the years um, we get down on this carpet my wife and I and we play with our dogs um, we are a larger dog that we had before the Lassa which is he was a 30 pound dog that dog right there is about 20 pounds uh, we get on this carpet and he'd race back and forth chasing a ball and stuff and um, and actually our other two ones as, as well but mostly the Lassa and now this guy he's he's playing in here and now we're other little guy that we've got who's uh, six pounds <laughs> um, you know we, we live on our in our house and we we play on the carpet and uh, you know this carpet they say this is supposedly a, a harder to clean carpet and it's not it's, it's easy to clean with well with this process anyway it cleans up great stays clean stains come out and uh, it performs very well, you know, considering the amount of wear that we've put this carpet through with the dogs on it, for a frise carpet, it, it looks wonderful. There is, and you know, the other thing that you hear people say sometimes is that a frise carpet, you know, you shouldn't use rotary machine or a pad machine on, a, on this type of carpet because it'll cause tip blooming. Well, my carpet's 10 years old. I literally was cleaning this carpet when we had uh, three dogs on here all the time, I was cleaning this carpet every four months, probably, because we like to have a nice clean house. And when you got dogs running in and outside, and you know, with the dirty feet, we try to keep them clean, but it, that's pretty much impossible, because you can't do that every time. Uh, you know, rolling around on the carpet, etc. You know, like the carpet was getting clean probably an average of every, every four months. And this carpet looks great. There is no, tip blooming happening. I mean, I've gotten down on this carpet very, fairly recently and, and examined it carefully. I mean, there is a little bit of wear showing, particularly in front of the, 
you know, where we mostly sit, but uh, there is no tip blooming happening on this carpet. When I finish this carpet and I groom it, you can barely tell the difference between where the wear is happening and then underneath the couch, where it's never been walked on. So, this, and, I, and, I, and again, I, I, I kind of chose this carpet because I wanted to prove to myself, to know for sure, are the things that people are saying about this carpet and using this type of machine on it, are they true? Is it true or not? It's not true. So that's my thought. Hey Billy. He's a great little guy. Very, very, very friendly little fellow and nice personality. He's really mellow. He likes to be cuddled too. <laughs> He's our cuddle pup. Aren't you Billy? Let's get the wire out of the way. And now I'll put the Iron Man pad in here. Now there was a, a quite a large obvious stain right here from urine. And I've only treated it with a CLO2. And I can no longer see it. Now this guy, we've only had him for about a month and a half now, this guy here. <laughs> um, but um, when we had our other doggies, when I'd be cleaning the carpet, I mean, I literally had to push, <laughs> especially our Maltese, I had to push her out of the way of the vacuum. Even when it run, when it's running, kind of push her out of the way. She got so used to it. She's just like, oh, whatever. I'm not sure where that other little dog is. I guess he's with, uh, I guess he's with my wife. She's in the laundry room on the other end of the house. So carpet is looking great as usual. Cleans up wonderful. There's a little, bit, a little bit of soil on there, not a, not a lot, but uh, this carpet is kept pretty clean, actually. Well, for the last two years, we've had no dogs, so that made a big difference. I think I only cleaned it, I think it was like six months or more, probably more than that, since the last time I cleaned it. And then we got this guy, and <laughs> well, this is the first time I cleaned it since we got him. But he hasn't been the issue. It's been that little little guy that's been these all these peas that I'm de dealing with here from the uh, the the um, he's actually a Morky, a Maltese Yorkie, and we're having a challenge with him. He goes outside sometimes, but he's not consistent yet. So he seems to be a little well. He's young. He's only five months. Pretty sure I wasn't uh, <laughs> using the toilet when I was five months old. <laughs> now I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning with Nanomax, two ounces per gallon, and um, the job I did yesterday was quite challenging. So I actually had boosted the uh, Nanomax with. Um, Rocket. I always forget what it's called. The Rocket. Um, hmm. Oh, I can never remember what it's called. Anyway, Rocket. The one with. Um, it does actually have peroxide in it. But um, I don't think that was. Um, the, it, that was yesterday, and after, after a few hours, it actually loses. starts to lose its potency peroxide starts to break down so it's not at full potency anyway 
but I it didn't didn't really need it for this carpet, but I still had it in the tank, so I so I just uh, used it up. So I've got almost none left there. I'll I'll be draining that out now after I finish this. So let's uh, go over here, just over to the entrance, and then I'm gonna see if I can detect the odor. I could smell it before. I had to put my nose in it before I began, and I could smell it. Not that strong, but because it was already treated with CLO2, but um, let's give it another try. Hey, Billy. Okay. Yeah, I can actually... I can actually smell it right there. So, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to give it more. No, I can't smell it at all. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's just sitting there. He's such a metal fellow. So I'll just give it a little bit of a working in with this little brush. I can't see any staining there. So it's effectively removed the discoloration. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave that now. Does that sound like a plan, Billy? <laughs> Look at that face. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to um I've got a fan here. So I will that's the original fan for this house, by the way, 30 years old. I mean so hacky and yet so kind of groovy <laughs> uh, we did I decided not to change it <laughs> I mean well, that would have been a, that would have been an expensive fan and it's you know when it's day um, anyway <laughs> so I'll leave that on and uh, it'll dry the, the carpet I got a little bit wetter than normal because of the urine present here so put the fan on and I'll let her dry and then I'll run the vac over vacuum over it in, in an hour or two and uh, that's it. So, um, and uh, I'll if if there's anything unusual about what I'm seeing after the fact, I'll put it in the way, in my com in the comments of this video. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed the little uh, interesting dealing with urine job on my own carpet today. So, thank you for watching, and have a good day.